In this video, we will be discussing the various types of birth control and how to find what works best for you. When being sexually active, it is very important to practice safe sex. Not practicing safe sex increases the chance of both pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Chances are, you or someone you know is sexually active. Knowing what works for you is important when selecting a form of birth control. The reality is, if you think you are ready to be having sex, you need to be ready to take charge of your reproductive health. Be proactive by talking to your doctor to make sure you get the information and materials that you need. Now is the time to be honest with yourself. Who are you? Are you someone who remembers to brush your teeth every morning and every night? Or are you someone who runs out the door quickly or falls asleep accidentally all the while forgetting to brush your teeth? Is your mom still telling you that it's something you need to do? Or does she know you'll do it on your own, even if she doesn't ask? Think about these things throughout this video and think about what type of birth control is best suited for you. Birth control comes in both hormonal and barrier forms. All forms of birth control have risks and benefits and have a variety of effectiveness. All percentages given in this video are the percentages of women who will get pregnant every year from that specific form of birth control. In many forms of birth control, the effectiveness is based on how correctly the person uses the form of birth control, and because we are human and can't be perfect all the time, there is also a percentage for typical use. All information in this video was found at PlannedParenthood.org. For the organized person. The pill is a hormonal form of birth control that prevents ovulation. It requires taking a pill once per day at the same time and requires a prescription from a healthcare provider, like at Planned Parenthood or a teen clinic. The birth control pill is 99% effective when used perfectly, but only 91% when used typically, and it does not protect against STDs. If you think remembering to take a pill once per day feels like too much of a responsibility, this may not be the best option. The pill can also be more difficult for teens with divorced parents because of transitions between homes. The shot. The shot is a hormonal form of birth control that involves getting an injection every three months. You can get the shot either from a healthcare provider at a clinic such as Planned Parenthood or your private healthcare provider. If you remember to get the shot every 12 weeks, it is 99% effective. However, it is about 94% effective if you forget to get your shots on time, which is more typical. This is a good option for someone who wants a more private form of birth control and doesn't think that they will remember daily pills. It does not protect against STDs. The patch. The patch is a hormonal, non-invasive form of birth control similar to the pill, only it is not taken daily. It is a large bandage that is placed on the skin once per week for three weeks following a patch-free week. If used perfectly, it is 99% effective, however typically it is 91% effective. Similar to the birth control pill, it is up to the user to make sure it is being used correctly. It does not protect against STDs. The patch can be found at a healthcare clinic or the drugstore. Fertility-based awareness methods. Fertility-based awareness methods are ways of tracking ovulation to prevent pregnancy. This form of birth control is completely self-dependent and involves tracking your menstrual cycle and abstaining from sex during ovulation. The various methods are the temperature method, the cervical mucus method, and the calendar method. This is only 76% effective and does not protect against STDs. Being organized is extremely important for using this method. It is not recommended unless you don't mind having an unplanned pregnancy, like a couple who is between pregnancies but is planning on future children. For the anxious person. The implant. The implant is a hormonal form of birth control that is a small rod the size of a matchstick that is placed in the arm. It is nearly 100% effective and lasts up to four years. It must be inserted by a healthcare provider similar to the IUD. It does not protect against STDs, but it can be used with a condom. Once it is placed, the user does not need to do anything but get it removed at the end of its life. It can be felt in the arm and this may bother some people. It eliminates the daily or regular responsibility of other forms of birth control. 
An intrauterine device, the IUD, is a form of birth control that allows for almost 100% protection. There are two types of IUDs, ones that have a small amount of hormone in them and ones that don't. An IUD can be accessed by going to your healthcare provider or going to a women's clinic such as an OBGYN or Planned Parenthood. The IUD is placed into the uterus during a short, minimally uncomfortable, non-surgical procedure. Less than 1 in 100 women will get pregnant per year, and once it is placed, the user doesn't need to do anything except get it removed. An IUD can last anywhere between 2 and 10 years, depending on the one you get. It does not protect against STDs. For the independent person. Condom. A condom is a small, thin, latex or plastic pouch that's placed over a penis before sex in order to stop the sperm from entering the vagina. Condoms are extremely accessible and low cost, and they can be purchased at any convenience store or for free at many clinics such as Planned Parenthood. It is 98% effective when used perfectly, but typically people do not use it correctly every time, which makes it about 82% effective. Condoms protect against STDs and should be used with all other forms of birth control except a female condom for this purpose. Female condom. The female condom is a thin plastic barrier that is placed into the vagina to help prevent pregnancy and STDs. It is available in drugstores and there is no prescription or ID necessary to purchase them. When used perfectly, they are 95% effective. However, with typical use, it is only 75% effective. These are a good option if you need a cheap and very accessible form of birth control. It does protect against STDs. The ring. The vaginal ring is a hormonal form of birth control that a woman puts into her vagina and leaves there once per month for three weeks. It is a small and flexible ring and it is relatively easy to use. With a prescription, it is extremely accessible and can also be accessed through services such as Planned Parenthood or a teen clinic. If used perfectly, it is 99% effective. However, typically it is 91% effective. It does not protect against STDs. To use the ring, you must remember when to use it and also be comfortable placing it yourself. Diaphragm. The diaphragm is a silicone cup placed inside the vagina every time you have sex in order to cover the cervix. It is used with spermicide to increase its effectiveness. One diaphragm lasts up to two years. It does not protect against STDs. You must go to a doctor or clinic to get a diaphragm, however they are relatively inexpensive. It is 94% effective when used perfectly, however with typical use it is 84% effective. Using the diaphragm is completely controlled by the user, so be sure you are comfortable placing it before choosing this birth control method. It does not protect against STDs. The cervical cap is a silicone cup inserted into the vagina and placed over the cervix to prevent sperm from getting into the uterus. They are relatively inexpensive and last up to two years. You must see a healthcare provider at a clinic such as Planned Parenthood or a teen clinic, as well as a private healthcare provider, to get a cervical cap. They are 86% effective if the user has never given birth and 71% effective if they have given birth. They do not protect against STDs. Like the diaphragm, it is a good option for someone who is comfortable placing it themselves. Sponge. The sponge is a foam disc that is inserted into the vagina up to 24 hours before sex and at least 6 hours after sex to prevent pregnancy. They are inexpensive and can be found at a healthcare clinic or drugstore. It is 91% effective if always used perfectly, but with typical use it is 88% effective. It does not protect against STDs. The sponge is a good option for someone who is comfortable placing it themselves and will know not to leave it in for more than 30 hours. Spermicide. Spermicide is a birth control method that can be found in the form of cream, film, foam, gel, and suppositories. It is always used with the diaphragm and cervical cap, but it can be used with other forms of birth control as well, like condoms. It is very inexpensive and can be found at clinics or drugstores. It is 85% effective when used perfectly and 71% effective with typical use. It is an inexpensive option and is good for using with other forms of birth control. Last-minute options. Withdrawal. 
The withdrawal method of birth control is when the penis is removed from the vagina before ejaculation during intercourse. This prevents the sperm from entering the vagina and joining with an egg. It is 96% effective when done perfectly every time, however with typical use it is only 73% effective. There are many sperm in pre-ejaculate. This is a good option if you do not have any other form of birth control and need something in the moment. It is highly not recommended by healthcare providers as a sole form of contraception. Emergency contraceptive. Emergency contraceptives can come in the form of hormone pills, commonly known as the morning after pill. Less commonly used, but an effective form of emergency contraception is the copper IUD. This type of birth control works by putting a stop on ovulation to reduce the chance of the sperm joining with an egg. Levongestinal pills, such as Plan B One Step and Next Choice One Dose, are up to 89% effective when taken within three days. Ella is 85% effective if taken within five days, and the Paragard or Copper IUD is 99% effective if it is placed within five days. This is a good last resort if you have had unprotected sex and want to reduce the risk of pregnancy. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit PlannedParenthood.org.